Good morning. My first full day in Tam Kok in the Ninh Binh region. I've got myself a bike. I'm going to cycle 11 kilometers to something called Trang Am Eco Tourism. I'm going to take a boat ride and discover just why this place is called Halong Bay on land. Hopefully, we'll get to see some rural Vietnamese lifestyle along the way. Let's go and visit the rural areas of Tam Kok Ninh Binh. Get your motor running ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da on the highway. Google Maps was telling me to turn right and I passed just at where the right turn was. I thought, no, this can't be it, surely, but yep, this is it. This is the road. I've only been on the bike five minutes. <laughs> Holy hell. I want to get past these before they decide to come up here and then I'm stuck behind the blue lot of them. Oh, they're right old play they are. This is a bloody good bike ride this. First of all, crossing the paddy fields with all the water buffalo. And then for the past 10 minutes so I've just been basically on this long straight road that runs along the Song Sao Ke River. It's just a little community and there's just stuff happening all over the place. People selling fruit and veg on the street and people there's a lot of karaoke going on even though it's half past nine in the morning. And yeah, it's flat all the way, so it's perfect. The street is lined with the Vietnamese flags. They're fiercely proud of their country. I suppose when you've been at war for the majority of your existence, it makes you a little bit nationalistic. Just look how beautiful it is. Now I've come out cycling for, you know, about an hour to get to this place. There's going to be a lot more cycling involved today as well. I'm going to climb a viewpoint. I'm going to be on a boat on a lake for three hours and I bought no sun cream. It's 30 degrees. Ouch. Well, here we're ready. And it took a lot less time than I remembered it taking. Oh, it took about, what time is it now? 9.57, so about half an hour, something like that. I was a bit worried that the um, bike that the hostel gave me didn't come with a, a chain, a lock. So I phoned him up and said, is it going to be all right? And he said, when you get there, all the kind of tourist places in Ninh Binh, when you park, you have to pay. It's like 10,000, about 30 pence. And uh, they give you a ticket and they put a sticker on your bike. So it's all, all perfectly safe. So there's no need for any locks or any of that nonsense. Given uh, a leaflet that shows you the three different routes, you've got to choose the three routes. I can't remember which one I did last time. I'd like to do a different one, but I can't remember which one it was. So I'm going to go with route number one, which I think is probably the one I did last time, just because it looks like there's more uh, to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but each boat can only leave when it's got four people on it, so because I'm by myself I basically got to wait for a boat until there's three on and then I can join that one. This is the uh, leaving station for the tour number one. It didn't take long, about five minutes for it. Num number one. Uh, she said the number one is like really long and you have to walk up, but the number three is nice. You go okay. through the... She offered oh, yeah. number three, she said that number three is better. Okay, yeah. Well, whichever. I think they'll all be alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this is our first stop on the tour then. This is the Din Dien Temple. It does say you're not allowed to use your cameras and phones inside the temple. I'm not sure how strict they are with that. I just took a couple of photos and no one told me off. Paid bloody nine quid for this. Halong Bay is the number one tourist destination in Vietnam and Ninh Binh just gets bypassed. A lot of people 
Western travellers don't really know that much about this place, although I think it is getting more popular. But it's absolutely beautiful. I find it bizarre that the offerings like cans of coke, cans of beer. Well, this is actually our next stop the uh, Dot Cave. Oh, wow, look at how low it goes. Our next stop then is the Suoi Tien Temple. I'll tell you something, it's uh, it's not easy getting on and off them boats. It's all right for a little Vietnamese women who weigh like four to kilos. As soon as I stand up, the whole thing bloody wobbles. Is this the temple? It doesn't look like a temple. Wow. The whole house just made out of mud and bamboo. When you first get on and you think, right, oh, three hours just like sat in a boat. <laughs> well, I do anyway. But then, you know, you come across scenery like this. Well, this is actually a different tour to the one I did before. I think I definitely did number one before. I'm glad I've ended up doing a different one. This has been really good. I mean, they, you know, we've gone through three caves, I think. Stopped off at three temples. But the scenery is just incredible. And that's what you come here for, really. And what's going to be at the other side of this? One of the Vietnamese women on the boat told me that the boat picks up at the ancient village which is over here wow look at this incredible let's see what it's like inside one of these things oh sorry sorry oh I actually walked into what my son was living this is the city centre. This will be where people come for gatherings and drunken festivities. A bit like West Street in Sheffield. My boat lady is just arriving there. As soon as I came into view, she gave me a wave. It was exactly three hours. <laughs> All right. Pulled in at uh, one o'clock. Now, how do I get out? How do I get out? Oh, through here. Thank you. Yeah, pulled in at exactly one o'clock. Incredible. And yeah, the woman. I mean, how strong must they be? Three hours ago. And you know, maybe twice, maybe three times a day. Who knows? But what the hell? I mean, she had me and three Vietnamese women, you know, imagine if she got like four obese American tourists. <laughs> That's that done then. So now my next stop is the Hang Mua Viewpoint, which is about an hour and 10 minutes walk. So it'll probably take me about 25 minutes or so on the bike, coming back the way I can. And yeah, it's uh, quite a trek up to the viewpoint, but the views are pretty awesome from what I remember. So let's go and do that. So when you're cycling to this viewpoint, they'll try and stop you on the road to um, get you to park outside their cafe. 
and basically you just drive straight past and then you go and park inside. But this guy right at the entrance, he wouldn't let me pass, he was very aggressive and I told him so. Anyway, it's 5,000 so I hope he looks after it. Would I pay? Yeah. Pay? No. Do you have a ticket or anything? No. Yeah. No, no. No, no, for the bike? Yeah. Oh, okay. Take this little fellow out. <laughs> I've seen rats in Vietnam bigger than this guy. What a cute little old bugger. Right, here we are then. Hang Moi Eco Lodge. 100,000 to get in. Bloody expensive. Three and a half quid. <laughs> you can actually stay in here. These are like lodges. Very nice. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Pretty beautiful. And where I'm going is right at the top of there. I'm doing everything I can to prevent having to climb these bloody stairs. Well, I've done it before, so I can do it again. Here it goes then. Have a look down here first. <laughs> this is a decent view. Should I just stop here? I think at the top here it splits. You can either go left or right. I'm not sure which way the dragon is. Well, I did it, and I did both. I wasn't going to, I was going to skip the second one, but my FOMO got the better of me. Legs feel a bit wobbly, probably could do with some food. Only had two eggs and some bread. The goats have a right good old munch. I bet you're thinking that that's surely it now for today. Well, you'd be wrong, because 18 minutes walk from here, so basically six minutes on the bike, something called Tai V Temple. I don't know if it's spectacular, I have no idea, but six minute cycle away, let's go and check it out. I've read a few things about the Tai V Temple. Some people say that the temple's not actually that impressive, but the actual surroundings that it's in is stunning. Well, they've got the second part, right? We're just literally, I've been cycling for about three minutes out of Tam Kok the kind of main city part of this area and we're just in the middle of all these costs and right in the middle of them the bloody temple Thai V I think it's Thai V, it might be Thai 6 everywhere I've seen it is spelt with a, a small i so I think it's Thai V well we have the symmetrical thing going on again We've got pool on this side, pool on that side, everything's exactly the same on the left and the right. And this temple dates back to the 13th century. Look at this fella. So it's very small inside. And obviously the decorations are not from the 13th century. It's just absolutely beautiful. You wouldn't think we were in a city, would you? I've changed my mind about Ninh Binh in terms of where to stay. Last time I was thinking we made the right choice by staying in Ninh Binh because Tam Kok seemed like it was just set up for tourists, which it isn't. I mean, there are bars and restaurants way more than in Ninh Binh, but this is where it all is, to be honest. I mean, Ninh Binh, you didn't have scenery like this right in the city. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Ninh Binh. It was a taste of a real Vietnamese city. But I would recommend staying in Tam Kok. Now you must be thinking, that's got to be it. Surely he's not going to do something else. Well, he'd be wrong again, because there is one more place that I want to get done today. 
It's called the, well, I don't know if it's actually pronounced like this, but it's the Bitch Dong Pagoda. I'm sure it's not pronounced like that. But um, yeah, it's 40 minutes walk, so it should be about 15 minutes on the bike. Let's do it, let's get it all done in one day. Google Maps hasn't got a clue when it comes to Tamcock. I mean, not only does it not know that any of this is here, all these huge lakes and rivers that go off it where the boats go, it's not on the map. How can this not be on the map? But the road that it's just told me to go to the, um, to the next pagoda or whatever it is, uh, doesn't exist. It's a river. So it might take longer than I originally thought. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to have enough time to do it today, so I'm, I don't know. I've just passed this place called Ko Bien Lao. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Right, so you have to actually buy a ticket to get in. It's 30,000. I don't even know what it is, but it's a quid, so I'm going to have a look. It looks really nice, actually. I don't know whether this is part of the museum or whether it's somebody's house. Is it? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is this somebody at your house? Oh, oh God. <laughs> I thought it was like a museum, but you, you live here. Okay. You live here. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, very nice. Am I okay to look? Okay? okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Right, so this guy is basically just inviting me into his house. I don't want to talk to me Okay. Ah, well. Hi. Well, it goes on. <laughs> oh, children. Oh, children, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So it's basically somebody's house. I've just walked in and he's giving me the guy the bloody tour. <laughs> That's amazing. In fact, this whole place is amazing. Look at that. It's like a little community that's just been opened up so that people can come and look at a traditional old Vietnamese community, I guess. Some little game here where the kids play. Some little seats. That's like the seats you sit on in Hanoi outside the bars. This is amazing. I literally was just cycling past this. Just looked at Google Maps to see what, you know, where I was and the directions. And then I find this place. Wow, look at this. This house has just been built into the cave. This has got two reviews on Google Maps. Man, Ninh Bin, Tamcock, what a place. What an absolutely wonderful place. I love it, they've just literally turned this space underneath the course into a house. Just built up out of bamboo and wood and twigs. Don't tell the Instagrammers about this place. So I've just been in there and then I thought, oh, this door looks open, I'll have a look in there. I ended up back in that guy's house. <laughs> That's like the Vietnamese Instagrammers have gotten onto this place. Hello. Yeah. 
It's absolutely beautiful. Check this out. Wow, actually is a cave. What is all this? It's just like uh parcels just wrapped up in gold and silver. I don't know how to play. I don't know. I'm gonna give it okay. Come okay. On. <laughs> you win. You win. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you very much. Well, I know I to play that now. I've decided I'm not going to the Bitch Dong Temple today. Uh, because it's getting late and I've only got like 30 seconds left on my SD card to film so I'm gonna to have to be really quick with this message so this is the end of this uh, vlog I think you'll agree that what a day it's been wow Nin Bin absolutely amazing so I'm gonna to have to cut it short because I've got 10 seconds left join me on the next vlog I'm off to the Bakoda and then I'm actually going to go to Nin Bin yes. Yes. Yes.